Hey, good afternoon and thanks for joining us. The coronavirus pandemic continues to define our lives and our daily routine. The CDC is now recommending that gatherings of 50 people or more be canceled or postponed for the next eight weeks. Governor Abbott has waived the star testing requirements for the 2019 2020 school year. The governor is also asking that the Department of Education waive federal testing requirements for the same school year. Here at home, spring break has been extended for another week for area schools and colleges. The UIL has also suspended all athletic and scholastic competition until at least March 29th. And at the Nueces County Courthouse, jury duty set for today was canceled. That's because all jury trials scheduled for this week have been postponed. Long lines outside of grocery stores have also become a new normal for us. Panic buying has emptied store shelves of cleaning products, toilet paper, water, milk, even meat and poultry. HEB and Walmart stores are working to keep shelves replenished, but the panic buying continues. Both chains have modified their hours of operation to keep up with the demand, and both are also asking shoppers to only buy what they need. Even the mayor is speaking out against hoarding. The community can come together. We're going to get through this epidemic in, in good shape, I think. But the panic buying is, is not going to benefit anybody than the hoarding. As a matter of fact, it could create some problems for others that don't get there and really do need to be able to get to the grocery store and get some supplies.